Something strange is going on at Tesla. Check this out. Giga Mexico construction did not start this past weekend despite the governor saying it would. We know that the governor said, I asked Tesla to come by in March at the latest to make an announcement around laying the first stone and they didn't tell me no. This was from February 24th. And then he said Giga Mexico construction will begin on March 3rd. So that was yesterday, but I cannot find anything about anything having begun. So something strange is going on. Maybe a Tesla, maybe Tesla said something to the governor that made him think all oh, the construction is definitely going to start. But now maybe things have changed. But the reason for nothing having started yet is not necessarily a bad reason. The governor also said it looks like the plant is going to be bigger than Tesla thought. Anyway, not seeing the construction begin yesterday could be one of the reasons why Tesla stock is presenting us with a buying opportunity today. Tesla is in talks with Thailand's government for a potential production facility in the country, having conducted a site survey late last year, an official from the prime minister's office said today. We are not really hearing much about India, and now instead we are hearing about Thailand. And by the way, Thailand is Southeast Asia's largest car producer and exporter and it even has ambitions to become the main EV production hub in the region. It does not necessarily mean that Tesla is going to build a huge factory in the country. It could mean that Tesla is maybe going to build an assembly plant, which is what Troy thinks is going to happen with India specifically. Tesla may also build some sort of a mega pack production facility, but it could also be a full-on vehicle factory. As I'm recording, Tesla stock is presenting with a bigger buying opportunity today, and I think it has to do with this headline. Tesla China shipments plunged to lowest in more than a year, but it is critical to know that the Chinese New Year started on February 10th this year, whereas in 2023, it started on January 22nd. That's why February shipments were down year over year. And during the Chinese New Year, for a little while, the whole country basically just shuts down. I've been there during that time. Nothing really is open. It is embarrassing for Bloomberg to report that the sales year over year were down 19% without mentioning the Chinese New Year. However, I do understand why some traders would sell based on this news. If you compare last year's Q1, our current quarter, you can see that our current year is behind last year's first two months so far. And both of them had the Chinese New Year in the first two months, but because it was in February this year, I don't think everything has gone back to normal yet. So even comparing the first two months, I don't think it's a completely fair comparison. We need to have the whole quarter to really have a very fair comparison. And most importantly, the whole new energy vehicle wholesale market, which includes plugins, that whole market is down 34% from January. Tesla, though, is only down 15%. And this is what I have been talking about for almost 18 months or so. When Tesla cuts prices, yeah, there's gonna be some pain for Tesla stock, but there's gonna be more pain for other companies, which in the short term, it hurts everyone, but it hurts the competition a little bit more. And eventually in the long term, it actually gives Tesla an advantage with multiple competitors beginning to fold. And if not folding, then struggling big time. By the way, pretty much every pure BEV automaker is down substantially today, especially the Chinese automakers. Xpeng down 7%, NEO down 6%, everything's down. As a long-term investor, my assessment is when there's blood on the streets, buy even if it's your own blood. A few countries in Europe just reported their sales and this is Netherlands. Belgium did extremely well outperforming uh, the previous quarter in the first two months, but it's a small country. Turkey is not really getting the vehicles yet is what I think is most likely happening. There's Israel. In a few days, we should have reports combining all of the European sales into one nice chart.